So we're going to have a look at how we can make a hybrid joined machine um, to be cloud only. So first of all, I'm just going to show that this is Azure AD joined as well as domain joined to the AD domain for ease of thing. Uh, we've got tenant details here as well as a PRT here. So everything is looking good on this machine. I've set a couple of couple of things. We've got some Excel file here. We've got Teams set up under Tom Hanks. Just have a look here under Tom Hanks at wizarding.uk. Uh, let's load up Outlook. That's also loaded up as the new Outlook. Hanks, uh, and then let's look at Word, and it's also loaded up under Tom Hanks, and along with OneDrive. So this user is looking good. Here's a file from the desktop. I'm going to use these right now. So let's migrate this machine to cloud only. We're going to go to the same tenant. So I'm just going to install the PowerSync Pro software. Let's take these details from here. So this is a pre-shared key and uh, it's used for security reasons to make sure that we're connecting to the right environment and we'll take this URL of where the server is that orchestrates these machines and then we'll just go install them. Off we go. We'll close down Word. <clears throat> and once this has finished, hopefully we should get a prompt to say, um, do you want the migration to start? Here it is. So let's start the clock. Now you can go um, no to this if you've got some work going on. You can completely configure this. But on this occasion, we're just doing a very quick demo. So let's go yes. So off it goes starts to reconfigure the machine and it will tell us when it needs to reboot the machine should be any moment and here it is it's going to restart so i'm just going to do that just for the speed of the demo and it's going to restart the machine for us so i'm running in a hyper-v environment but obviously this is just for demo reasons but this will work on AWS laptop uh, this type of orchestration has happened for 10, 20,000 user machines all in a single cutover weekend. So it, this type of stuff happens pretty quick. The idea is that the PowerSync Pro software will re-permission your um, registry, re-permission your file system. It will disjoin you from AD, uh, well, AD and Azure, and then it will join you onto the target uh, tenant. You can do tenant to tenant migrations. You can do consolidations. You'll notice here that migration in progress. We did put an admin fallback in account just in case anything went wrong. Um, but normally, if the software has got a lot to do, then uh, that migration in progress would just stay there. And it's because we're disjoining from AD and joining to uh, Azure, it needs to do a couple of restarts but I don't think this is going to be too long. We have the concept of batches and runbooks. So in a batch you can load in any number of uh, computers and schedule them on whatever time you like with given grace periods so that users can choose when to migrate in a certain circumstance and then you have the Runbooks as well, which is any number of configurations from um, just disjoining from Azure and joining to a new tenant, for example, or uh, completely disjoining from AD and joining to a new Active Directory. And it can reconfigure all of the workloads. And you'll notice here we're now going to log in with tom.hanks. UK. So now I'm logging in with the tenant account. 
and it will take a little bit longer because um, it will just got to make sure when we'll authenticate with Entra. And then we'll be on the way. So with the runbooks, you can choose to uh, reconfigure anything you like on the machine from Outlook to BitLocker to OneDrive to Teams to any of the uh, applications on the machine. And once this user logs in, in actual fact, they'll be using exactly the same profile that we left off with. So their applications would still be in situ. Their Outlook will still be there. Teams, OneDrive, everything will still be there. The only difference is that um, the machine will now be cloud only. So it's going to ask me for a Windows Hello pin. So I'll just quickly go through that process and tap on my authenticator. Seventy-three. So we can't get around user having to log into the uh, device like this um, with security. So um, it's we have to allow Microsoft to do what it needs to do, and the migration is now completed. So I'm now back onto the machine. You'll notice the files are still on the desktop. If I can go to Excel. I can have a look. Still logged in as Tom. OneDrive is still there. Just doing a quick update. Let's go and have a look at the uh, device join state. Teams is loading up in the background there. So now we are just cloud only and you'll notice we are no longer domain joined. And if we scroll down, should have a PRT stick. There we go. And everything's back up and running. Let's load up Outlook. There we go. And you could do this on any, any number of machines. You can set it for a specified time. You can do tenant to tenant migrations with it. And the user is back up and running in only a few minutes. Thanks for your time.